is dead even, and the weight within a pound. Pro records, Sean O'Sullivan 7-0, and, oh, and Evan Dano 13-3. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to beautiful Harris in downtown Reno. This will be our big main event of a 10-rounder. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing judges at ringside. Judges Herb Santos from Reno, new commissioner to the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Doug Tucker out of Carson City, Jerry Roth out of Las Vegas. Executive Secretary Harold Buck, Commissioner at Ringside, Sam Macias. Timekeeper in counting for the knockdowns, Johnny Rogers. Doctor at Ringside, Dr. Charles Filippini. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first in the blue corner. Weighing in at 148 pounds, fighting out of Alamo, Texas. A record of 13 and 3. Would you welcome, please, Ricardo Avendano. His opponent out of the red corner, weighing in at 147 pounds. As a pro, he is 7-0. Ladies and gentlemen, boxing out of Toronto, Canada, here is Sean O'Sullivan. And the referee is Mills Lane. Lane has been uh, in the ring for 18 championship bouts. So a logical choice for the main event in Reno tonight. Mills will be very uh, familiar to the, to the folks who watch Top Rank regularly on TSN. He appears quite regularly on the cards that come out of Reno and Las Vegas. John O'Sullivan is scheduled to go 10 rounds for the first time in his professional career. O'Sullivan, as you know, in white, his opponent, Ricardo Avendano from Alamo, Texas, in the red trunks. You recall the last bout that O'Sullivan had in Vancouver against Mark Lassane. He came out very aggressively, very quickly. Wasn't afraid to mix it up. O'Sullivan ducking cleverly out of the way. Led with the right that time. Evan Dano had it blocked easily. Scoring in this bout once again on the 10-point must system. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Referee does not score the bout. And there will be a standing eight count if a boxer gets into trouble. Sullivan snuck in there with a, a light uppercut to Evan Dano. Very meticulous fighter is Sean O'Sullivan. Left hand blocked by Evan Dano. O'Sullivan. Solid right to the body. And again, the combination. Body punches by O'Sullivan. On Ricardo Avendano. There you go, there you go. O'Sullivan possesses tremendous balance as a fighter. He's got great vision. And a very solid right hand. John, the gloves they're using have attached thumbs. They aren't thumbless, but the, the thumb is attached to the glove itself. That cuts down the risk of a fighter being thumbed and uh, having damage needlessly caused to his eyes. Sullivan missed with the left. Moved in quickly for a left-right body combination. Sean O'Sullivan. Avendano blocking the left hand of O'Sullivan quite effectively. Well, Sullivan has worked downstairs somewhat during this first round. Moved in and out very quickly on Ricardo Avendano. Avendano is hurt. O'Sullivan, a power puncher. Left hand to Avendano. Backed into the ropes. O'Sullivan moving in. A left, right. Avendano took that one solid shot, and it rocked him. He's backing up. He's very definitely on the defensive in round one. Sullivan set to go 10 rounds for the first time in his career. And he lines up against Ricardo Avendano. Avendano in trouble early in round one. 
We are back and live in Reno, Nevada. Sean O'Sullivan against Ricardo Avendano. And round two is coming right up. Avendano is being checked over by the doctor, John, in his corner. He has a cut. It appears that he has a cut under his lip on the left side. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's going to stop the fight. Okay, the way okay. you're, yeah, you're entitled. Is you that okay with you? Yeah, let's stop it. Let's okay. stop it. Well, that ended rather quickly. Yeah. Bill's it, Lane declaring Sean O'Sullivan the winner. There you can see the cut.